Sheesh. And I love Coco. They start chewing it up. He did that with the Celine. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be having some wobble grill, as y'all can kinda tell. And then I also got some dumplings. I have 10, but obviously me and Maya share food. So I gave her five. And then as y'all already know, my Doc Pepper. I never really noticed how much uh, Wobble Grill doesn't really have so much different types of food, I guess you could say. It's pretty much the same thing, like a little rice bowl, but you just add your different toppings or different type of meat. And I think they have like some salad thing and I, and the dumplings, but I've had their dumplings before. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll get to that soon. I'm totally just sitting down on like the side of our bed right now because I couldn't really find any other spot to film. So I said, why not up here? I got the uh, chicken and rice bowl with brown rice and then broccoli and then the five dumplings. The dumplings come with this like little sauce, which I like it, it's pretty fire. It's not like fire like hot, but it's good. And then I think just pretty much one little extra teriyaki sauce. Might as well just put it now, right? But before this video starts, I want to say thank y'all to the people that were able to comment in my previous video. Thank y'all. Love y'all. My mouth's already all watery. If I sound a little sick, it's because I am. I've been feeling like this for a couple of days already. But it's not COVID. If anyone has ever had COVID, you know the difference. Mm -mm 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 -mm. What do you guys usually get when you guys go to Wild Grill? Because, like I said, there's not like a huge option of what to get, but... I don't know. I used to just get the chicken bowl, but just recently, Myra, I guess her mom, she gets this, like just chicken with broccoli. Because if you do the chicken and veggie bowl, they give you, not lettuce, what's it? Cabbage. I don't know, I feel like cabbage, like, ugh, I don't know, it's like that nasty, big, white root part of it most of the time, so I'm just like, I don't like it. Like, sometimes it's good, but sometimes I'm just like, y'all gave me the bad piece of it, so. Hmm. But it's always delicious. I'll just, not the cabbage, but I'm talking about Wobble Grill. It's really always good. I remember going to Wobble Grill a lot when I would be going to the gym. Mm. Mm -hmm. It was slightly one of those, like, I'm doing slightly better for myself to eat here instead of anything else. But I feel like I never really stuck to a, like, a strict diet. But let's try one of these um, dumplings because, like I said, I've tried these before. Oh, overall, they're pretty good. The only thing I would say is I feel they need to be a little crispier. I feel when I've gone to other places and I've get dumplings, they have like a slightly little nice crunch to it. Not like crazy crunch, but you know, like, ooh, a little texture. And these, you could feel like, yeah, they were microwaved or something. Whatever it is, still, still delicious, so. Mm. Mm -hmm. Of course, it is just Wobble Grill compared to other spots. They're way better than this, but not bad for it being Wobble Grill. Mm -hmm. I was going to do another different like type of little mukbang. My Myra just really wanted Wobble Grill. And then that's why I was like, okay, like fine, I'll, I'll, I'll get what I usually get and then just see any little extra stuff or whatever. But that's when I noticed Wobble Grill really doesn't have little sides, I guess you could say, other than the dumplings. Mm -hmm. That's good. Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day. Mm. I need more salsa. Mm -hmm. On my previous video, I was talking about doing the whole little uh, Doc Pepper, like kind of all of them being aligned, me being blindfolded. I want to do that and hopefully I do it soon because I feel I feel I could identify Doc Pepper real quick. Well, I don't know. I legit probably have, I don't want to say a Doc Pepper a day. I'll say with, within a week, I probably about like four Doc Pepper. Well, not four Doc Pepper, but within that day, or like four days out of seven days, I have a Doc Pepper because low key sometimes I'm, I do like two Doc Peppers, three Doc, whatever it is, you know? I, I do a good amount of Doc Pepper. I feel if they're aligned with any other drink. Hmm. Mm-hmm. 
At least, that's what I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I keep on getting hot sauce all over my hand. Have you guys tried these dumplings? Because I know, like I said, me and Myra have gotten dumplings other spots. I like them. They're, they're good, you know? Waba Grill is more of like a fast food spot for like this type of food. It's good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Bro, see, this is the only thing I was worried about doing it up here. Because even right now, if you guys could kind of tell, I'm like kind of like leaning my hand over here. But every now and then I have to like grab things with this hand. So I lose balance and... I just feel something's gonna fall. Mm. Bro. Mm -hmm. I feel I've gone to like Waba Grill about like three times this week. I guess the way me and my is just we're gonna do a little bit of fast food. Well, not really, you know what? Because I, I eat everything. I think we just like Waba Grill because Loki Waba Grill is pretty fire. I'm not gonna lie. Mm. <laughs> Coco wanted to come in here so bad. You know what? Okay, talking about Coco because he was barking. I don't know if you guys heard him right now. Earlier, when I was like setting up this little whole spot, he was scratching the door like crazy. And I love Coco, but he, he he lives up to his name because we call him Coco Loco. Sometimes when we're doing something, it's just like, can can you sit down? Hansel will be in his little spot, chilling, laying down, or we even have like a little bed, and they both fit in there, and they'll both be laying down. Sometimes Hansel will knock out in there. But Gogo, his little five minute little nap in there, and he is running TMI. He grabs like toilet paper from the restrooms. He he's bit up a charger already. He's bit up some of our shoes. What is? Oh my God. Okay, this one is probably like the top one where I was like, Gogo, you done messed up. So one day we're leaving from where was it? Karina's. Usually, like, say we can go to Karina's for like a party or something. Myra will take her makeup bag, her whatever extensions, couple little things that she needs, whatever, right? She ended up taking her Celine with just stuff in it. Pretty much when we're leaving, so it wouldn't be in our way. I was like, oh, we don't need this no more. I put it in the back. So I, I guess maybe it was kind of my fault. But we're driving back home normally say like if I have a bottle of water or whatever they start chewing it up He did that with the Celine while I was driving I see in like the little rear view mirror that he's like chewing on something and I'm just like What is he doing? So but I'm driving so I'm kind of like trying to look over my shoulder and see what he's doing until like last minute I'm just like wait is that Myra's purse and then yep. He was he was chewing up a he was chewing up her purse. It was like the handle that he was ripping up and it wasn't that bad we We're like, oh, you know what? Okay We could maybe fix it or something like that and then like a week or two later We didn't learn from our mistake. We left I guess the purse out or something We catch him biting it and ripping it up again and this time he like tore it up like bad, but what can you do? Like the way I see it, I'm like, when he tore up my shoes and all that, I'm like, that's my fault for leaving me out or whatever it is, you know? Material things like that, it's like, it could be replaced or whatever it is. And Coco, we found him in the street, we saved his little life, you know, because he was actually in a dumpster if y'all didn't know about that. You know, I don't know, we, we love pets. So we're not going to be like, oh my god, just because of that, we're never going to keep any animals or whatever it is. But we love our dogs. Like I said, he's tore up my shoes and all that. I'm like, okay, why why get super, super mad? But when I saw the purse, I was like, that ain't no cheap purse. So, oh, um, I thought Myra was gonna flip out, but luckily she didn't. I don't know, what would you guys have done? Or if anybody out there has pets, what's like the worst thing that your guys' pets have like destroyed? Because I'm not gonna lie, pets destroy certain little things. Even handsome, he's he's very calm. He still has his little habits, and he's picking up Coco's habits. Where back in the day, we didn't really have any trouble with handsome doing anything, but now he's starting to pick up his little habits. Ooh, I don't know. It's so hard to pick up all this food. <gasps> Sheesh. 
when we go visit Karina, obviously buns and butter are there if you guys don't know those dogs. I've said if you, ugh, I've said before, pretty much the way I see it, like buns and butter are like cousins to Handsome and Coco. So when they go over, they get so excited and all that. So we love taking them. But Coco has ripped up so many of Mia's little uh, chupons. And I'm just like, oh my God. Like, I don't know. For me, it's a little embarrassing because it's like, can you not? <laughs> but... We gotta teach Coco some English so he knows what I'm saying. And that's the thing, we try to teach him like, no, don't buy it in this and that, but it's hard. Mm. My leg is falling asleep here. Mm -hmm. My leg is literally, ah, ah, I don't know what to do. You know it's crazy too? Well, not crazy, but like my mom, she's not really a pet person. Myra's parents, they're not pet pr people. So for us having pets and like every time we go over something and we have to have our pets with us, I feel it's a little stressful for them or when things like that happen, where they're peeing everywhere, chewing up things and just being dogs, you know? Like their first thing is like, well, you guys are the ones that Treat them like babies and have them everywhere. But we love them. Mm. You know what's crazy? Originally, I was making a video. We never posted it. But like when um when we found Coco and you know the day we went and picked them up and all every, pretty much everything you know we never ended up uploading it because during that time for some of you that know we're going everything going to the hospital and Brazito and all that. So I, I'm not even sure if we still have those clips anymore because we just we just I don't, I don't think we do. But yeah, I don't know. he he's wild. <laughs> And me and Myra the other day we were just talking about how handsome he's been with Myra forever. Like that little guy, I love him, and he loves me. But there's no separation between him and Myra. Like I know he likes following me around and doing everything with me or whatever. As soon as Myra tells him handsome boom boom like whatever it is he's right behind you or even sometimes because i wake up early and i'll go try to do like a little workout whatever he won't come down he'll stay here until myra comes down then he's like okay let's get our day started yeah he just follows her like crazy this was definitely delicious um if you guys have wa had wava grill i'm i wava's grill like everywhere right i don't think it's like in and out or i don't know other spots that aren't everywhere i guess you could say i feel wava grill is a good like it's everywhere let's just say that or at least most places if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment subscribe i gotta get that dr pepper video done asap yeah i know this was kind of like a just quick random video vid i am out of it today yo i think it's just me being kind of sick even i feel like my voice i'm not i don't know just not all there hopefully like i said you guys enjoyed this video and um as well hopefully i see you guys on the next video until then stay safe y'all love y'all Deuces.